another day of the Vlogmas. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that might make me a social pariah again with the girls. I've always been the type of girl that never really had a lot of girlfriends. I've always been more of a tomboy and I always had more of guy friends so girls really didn't like me that much you know I think that one of the reasons that girls really didn't like me that much is because I was always really against what all the girls were doing and I was used to shame them for that more or less I mean I I can't say I'm shaming people but some things, I just find them socially uncomfortable and morally unethical. And people that do that, I honestly find them... Ech. I've always had a problem with a certain type of girls, you know? And this is what we're going to be talking about. Types of girls that make us look bad. Thanks, girls. One of the types of women that I honestly really hate a lot, and I've been seeing this since I started using social media again. I was in Facebook for about four years. I didn't use social media, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. I would go on them like maybe once every few months. The first type of women that I want to talk about are the poor socialites. What's a poor socialite, you might ask? Well, I think we've all seen on social media the influencers and socialites that look really pampery and look really good and they're always on expensive trips and, and are always in the best clubs everywhere and the thing is about them that they're really poor. They really don't have money to afford all the things and what they do is they actually go to a club, pick up a guy that has money and then she just hangs around. Honestly, those women, I wouldn't call them socialites, I would call them parasites because honey, you ain't paying for it. You're a parasite. Smash that like button if you agree with me. Oh, I'm gonna get so much backlash to this. Number two that I found out from my friends and I found it actually being really, really funny. It was the uh, vintage car that still wants to wait, but what for? <laughs> when, when I heard this, I was like, really? Yeah, honestly, I don't know why they do that, but it does not make sense. Uh, well, the vintage car actually refers to um, more or less what's down there, you know, like another translation to it would be a lot of cars parked in that garage, you know, and still, when you meet her, you know her whole history, everybody knows it, like it's known throughout the whole freaking city. But then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't like to wait. Wait for what? Another city you can move in? Really? What are you waiting for? You just held it in your hands for years and years and now you want to wait. What are you going to wait for? You could have waited then. This is actually a true story that I heard from one of my friends. Number three is actually the social cheater. This one is a new story. I haven't heard this before and my friend had the best comeback line for her. It was epic. She had this boyfriend and there was a new guy that came into the circle. And at one point she was all over him and she was thinking, saying to my friend, that, oh, I think he has a girlfriend. My friend was like, how do you know he has a girlfriend? I haven't seen anything on Instagram or anything. And she was all like, yeah, well, I have a boyfriend too, but I don't have pictures with him on Instagram if I want to hit something on the side, if you know what I mean. My friend just said this. Oh, you're one of those people. 
I gotcha. It was epic. It was, it was like, oh my God. Yes, finally, payback to you. You suck as a human being. Hit the like button if you agree with me. This one actually happened to me and one of my best friends at the time. Number four is the preaching cheater. So I had this friend back uh, like maybe, I don't know, six, seven years ago. We were like BFFs. We would watch like Lion King and Beauty and the Beast every single night and we would talk about anything. He, I was in love with one of his friends back then and we were very, very close. I even lived in his house, but his house was actually partitioned into three smaller houses into one big house. I hope it makes sense. And the thing is that he met this girl and we were like a circle of four friends. It was me, him, and the guy I liked and uh, another friend of ours. And the thing is that he got hooked with this girl and we all liked her and everything. But at one point she started having a problem with me and told him that I should move out because she thinks there is something going on between us. I mean, okay, let me stop you there. Are you stupid? Really now, you know that he is my best friend. You know that I'm dating his best friend. And you're still saying that I am hooking up with your boyfriend while my, I, 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 I could not figure it out what was in her brain at the time. So I moved out, I let them have their relationship, whatever he needed to be happy. I was fine with it. I moved in with my brother, everything was okay. But he slowly started distancing himself from us, from the three amigos that he had left. And guess what? A few months later, he actually found out that she was the one that was cheating on him. So, karma's a bitch, ain't it? Number five is one that I think we might all kind of be, but some women actually take it to such heights that you're wondering how is it even possible that you made it until this age? How is it possible that you survived this long with that brain? Honestly, I can't get it. Number five is the obsessed one. We're all a bit obsessive, but some people actually take it to a whole different level. Trust me. It's exactly the type of girl that will be just like this. Aw, yeah honey, I love you too. Well, I'm going to bed. Text me a photo of you in bed, honey. Love you, bye. Okay, he's in bed, okay. But you know what? He could actually have sent me this picture and now he's leaving and he's going to meet that other skank. Oh my God, Daryl, where is Daryl? Daryl, if he's going out, he's going with Daryl. Let's stop Daryl. Okay, let's see, Facebook. Okay, Daryl is at home, Twitter. Okay, no, Instagram, nothing. Okay, let's see, Derek. Okay, nothing on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Okay, let's see his other 50 friends. Okay, anyone out, anyone out? Honestly, really, really? The guy just sent you a picture from his own bedroom, from his bed. And you are gonna stalk all his friends just to make sure that he didn't go out and he's not cheating. Honey, if he wants to cheat, he's gonna cheat. So you stalking him is just very, very stupid on your side. I'm sorry. I have seen this one like so many times. It's, I, I honestly don't know what happens at a chemical level in their brains, but I call them the relationship makeovers. But some people have this thing that they 
they change instantly after they get into a relationship. They are amazing people when they're, when they're single. But once they get into a relationship, they change from this and then they get into a relationship. And what you see is this. I don't know if we have the time. Tomorrow, I think that dad needs us to do. Dad needs you to do what? Where's the whole, oh, I don't need a man's in my life. Mm -mm. I'm independent, bitch. Mm -mm. Honestly, really? I mean, I have seen this like so many freaking times. It's not like they just change their attitude or how they dress or how they walk. They change their faces. I have seen faces like change from nice and pretty to I have a boyfriend now. What is wrong with you? Why? I honestly don't understand. And then, guess what? After two weeks, relationships are bye-bye. Because guess what? The guy wants you to be the same person that he fell in love with or decided to date because you are a cool person. Not this whole mess. Not I got a boyfriend now. Why, ladies? Why are you doing this to us, to all of us? Ugh. And last but not least, my favorite one, because this one is close to my heart. I'm a feminist, okay? But the neo-feminism that I'm seeing nowadays is crushing my heart and crushing all my hopes and dreams that maybe someday I'll find a man that I can date. Because right now, we're clashing on so many levels because, well, neo-feminists have this way of being so obnoxious and so, I would just want to throw them all at the bottom of the ocean, just like lawyers, you know? It's that lawyer joke. What are 1,000 lawyers on the bottom of the ocean? A happier world. Well, this is exactly what I want for those neo-feminists. You know the ones that say, oh, equal rights. We want equal rights. We want the same paychecks as a man. We want that as a man. We want equal rights, just like every man in this world. Well, honey, if you want equal rights, then I think you should think about what equal rights actually means. It means you need to pay your own bills. It means you need to buy your own shoes. It means you need to work for yourself. It means that if you're going out, you're gonna pay for your fucking drink. Because if not, honey, that's not independence. That's not feminism. Honey, that's just you being a parasite. And I'm sorry, but truth hurts. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Women should all want to fight for each other to have equal rights and all. But let's be honest now. Let's just think about the first main rule of anatomy. Men and women are different. You know why? Because let's take one simple example. A man can have a thousand babies wherever he wants. A woman can never, ever, in her whole life, produce a thousand babies. Because maybe after baby 10, 14, 15, whatever, your uterus will drop. You will not be able to have not even a freaking embryo there. I don't think that that uterus is gonna work anymore. So honey, you want equal rights? Fine, then think about what equal rights actually means because I'm sick and tired of seeing everybody everywhere. Oh my God, that is so sexist. Oh my God, that is not feminism. Oh my God, women are so suppressed. Honey, you have the right to vote and what do you choose to do with it? Oh no, you choose to find yourself a sugar daddy and you expect when you go on a first date for the man to pay. You said that you wanted equal rights, right? Okay, but when you go out on a date, don't forget you said equal rights. Then do not expect for him to pay. And if he wants to pay, you won't let him pay because you want equal rights. Because, well that's feminism honey for ya. Smash that like button if you agree with me. 
Well, that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I didn't really offend a lot of people with this. I don't, I'm not saying that men are amazing and they're perfect and they have no flaws, but women nowadays, honey, I think we are exaggerating a bit, you know? Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I would really want to hear from you guys. And, well, I'll see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas, guys. Because apparently this is what we're doing. Every single day we're filming. And every single day we're going to be here. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Share this channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified every single time I post a video. And as I said, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Mwah.